Oh, I wanted to ask Jeff about the dad bod. The dad. Oh. This is something oh. that's been bugging me for the last few days. Jay, you've heard of this? I yeah, a little bit. Yes, a little about bit. The huge thing on the internet that they're saying that the halfway adequate body is the new trend. <laughs> halfway <laughs> adequate. <laughs> It's not even exceptional. <laughs> no, no. It's I guess it's it's when you sit back instead of going to the gym, you have your pizza and your beer, and you don't work out, and that's okay. That sounds like every day. That's right. Yeah. I mean, I mean personally, yes, I agree there. This but is something I'm looking forward to. I thought it was something that was supposed to change. I, yeah. That's what it seems like. But I guess you know Johnny Depp or whomever they've all been pictured with uh, their dad bods. Can we and de- it became can we, a new trend. Can we describe the dad bod? Like, what what are the physical features? Little flabby. Little flabby. Little okay. flabby. Check. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No six pack Check. whatsoever. A kegger. How about that? Oh. The only six pack you have is one of like Strohs or whatever you're oh, gonna okay. drink. I got a pony keg. Okay, I see. That works too. Um. Yeah. You're just you're you're not completely <laughs> fat. <laughs> but you're not exactly fit. But you're okay. not fit. You are All no right, David sure Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Right. If, as guys, what do you guys think about the dad bod? Are you excited that this is a trend? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you know, because it's right in my wheelhouse. <laughs> you don't have to be a dad to have a dad bod too. Oh, that's one of the regulations to the. See, dad as long bod. as you're an eligible mommy to love me for who I am, that's all that matters. And then there's the extremes. Like six packs aren't comfortable, they're all hard. And then the people with like the double necks, like yeah. they're and they look like big blocks of human. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> square. I think that's gross. Like yeah. when the guy's two ribs. Yeah, I think with that's the nasty. steroid, the unnatural. <laughs> Whereas like sh- his shoulder muscles are taller than his head. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. We had a guy in was it in, in Brazil who was injecting himself with oils and other types of um, fluids, and and they almost had amputated arms because they tried to resemble the Incredible Hulk. Oh, Oh, I saw that. Yeah, and he honestly does not have a neck. It's like he overbuilt his neck. He had no legs either. He was just very weirdly misshapen and, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Misshapen. What is that called, like body dysmorphia? Does it make any sense? Like where you, like your perception of yourself is never good enough, is that right? Okay. Yeah. Well, the dad bod's going against that. You're yeah. you're just totally okay now. Everyone is just okay now. So, which is good. Yeah, not to put down the people that are being healthy and stuff, but like the people that go to extremes with all this like, you know, crazy unnatural stuff. Uh, you know oh, what yeah. though? I think I people are, are on more of a health kick now than ever. Mm-hmm. Like even McDonald's is losing millions of dollars a day because people aren't going in droves like they used to. And the, all the calories for all the, the fast food restaurants, like, they have them on the board. I mean, there's been times where it's like, oh, God, I'm so, ex- like, exhausted. I'm not going to make anything. So stop, you know, at Wendy's or something. Right. You're definitely going to deter something. It's like, oh, that's a whole day's worth of calories. I'm definitely not going to eat that. But that's that's just me. <laughs> well, and then people are cutting down on the soda options, too. Yeah. You can't buy in New York. You can't buy an extra large soda anymore. <clears throat> And in schools, too. But. You're supposed to drink, like, two liters of water a day. And I can't remember the last time I've drank two liters of water in one day. Hey, there's water in beer. I'm good there. <laughs> That's the balance that everyone kind of tries to accept. That's yeah. right. Well, there's water in beer. Well, wouldn't um, that same logic work for soda, then, too? But then all the... Well, so I think all the sugar. I mean, you're, you're decaying your teeth. I think the carbonation doesn't help with that stuff, too. No. I don't know. Not at all. No. But back to anything this dad with a chemical thing, reaction. Yeah. I mean, in society, it changes all the time. Like before, the rich people were the bigger people, and that was sexy. And then, like you know, Twiggy came in the seventies, and you know, made super skinny sexy. So it changes all the time. Mm-hmm. You know? If you're confident in how you feel and how you uh, how you act, I think that's pretty much all you need, almost. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like, would would you, Bruce Jenner have a dad bod? <laughs> he's going against a mom that. bod. <laughs> yeah. He's got a dad mom bod. Mom jeans. <laughs> well, what's a mom bod then? If there's a dad bod and it's just like okay, you're just you're just relaxed in your upkeep essentially. Roseanne, I don't know. Well, it's oh like actually thin or like mom jeans where you start wearing those like Yeah, <laughs> mom jeans like we were talking about the brunt the bunt or the <laughs> the gunt. The gunt. Yes. <laughs> front front butt. When you just dis- <laughs> You call it the front butt. <laughs> yeah. Front ass. The day you wake up and put on a pair of jeans and your ass is on the front, that's when you've got a mom bod. 
Well, it's actually kind of funny because you've noticed, like, that's pretty much what mom jeans do. They put your butt on the front. <laughs> and it's like, then you don't have one in the back. Yeah. It just, like, it cancels it out. Moves it around. Oh, Jeff uh, sent me a tweet asking what it was you said before you hung up. Like, because I hung up and you were like, what I really want to know about Jeff was... Oh, no, I just said that I was very happy to know more about our most bestest uh, fan in the world. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's all. I didn't have any crazy questions or anything. It's fascinating to understand that he <laughs> exists. <laughs> Je- what, does, does he? It, she, she exists? She exists. She exists. Excuse me. Her, him. She lives yeah. in Chicago? Um, I don't oh. know what the Amish population is. and. Uh. But yeah. we, but Where which makes sh- no sense if like if you're Amish, I don't think you could necessarily use the internet. Or she acknowledged that she <laughs> doesn't. Yeah, it was a representative. So yeah. Well, maybe the tweet she sent you was actually like a note attached to a bird's leg or something. <laughs> did you, <laughs> did you get hit in the head with anything? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> maybe like her blackberry is literally like a you know a dangling blackberry off of a branch or something. You know? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who knows what's going on in the head of hers? And it's got some you know. But no, we still love you, Jeff. I mean, my first Thank you, you know interaction with you, but you're you're something else. Something, yeah. You're something what else. I have no idea, but you're you go beyond else. what the norm is, and that's and that's for that okay. We thank you. <laughs> and that is okay. So yes. I googled um, Amish in Chicago, mm-hmm. and there are many. Okay. <laughs> there are many little tribes scattered all across, like the lakefront, all the way to like Rockford. Let's go find the one that's got the boat, because then we could find Jeff. <laughs> wait, wait a second. It's not by water. Wait, well, though. that boat's big enough to you know. Chicago be has a United lot of center. water. Yeah. Jeff, there's a place where we're we're gonna find you a place where you can take that boat and use it. <laughs> use it, maybe even paddle it. <laughs> well, we wait, wait, hold on. Wait. This this boat's also gigantic, so. Maybe his boat is the United Center. Well, she's going to want to bring that outside of. of the studio, though, and I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. It'd kind of be hard to tow down the street, too. Yeah. You know, just drag it behind the car on a hitch. We'll find you some water, Jeff. Don't worry. So you could use your boat. I don't think I'm going to look too hard. But anyway, that is Jeff. <laughs> that's Our <the> super <laughs> fan. <laughs> The uh, the Thanks. Benny the Bull to our Laugh or Else Radio. Woohoo! Excellent. So uh, it's almost time to wrap it up, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go around the room and everybody can plug their stuff. Eva, why don't you start first? Through my eyes, uh, subtitle, the way I see things and things I saw, and um, upcoming book coming. Th- it will be called Daydreams. It was uh, originally. I had an idea for it being a screenplay, but yeah, sometimes it works out better this way. And um, yeah, Society6, Chicago Paranormal Examiner, that's about it. Excellent. Yola? Um, My website is yolapilch.com, where you can see all my past and current adventures. And the show is currently showing at 1933 North Damon in Chicago through the month of May. And the closing reception, all is welcome, <laughs> is um, on May 28th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Excellent. Zoe! What would you like me to say? I don't know. It's your turn to say goodbye. It's what it is. Okay. <laughs> Allow me to take this time to talk about slope mowers. Wrap it up! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tim, uh, for, for letting me come back. Zoe, you didn't have to use the dumb button once. I did not, even though you had some weird game planned where we were supposed to name people with words that are dumpable. Oh yeah, like like the guy who is the executive producer for. Uh, <laughs> I bet nobody can answer this question. Oh okay, I mean I could give it a try real quick. So let's see, who is the executive producer for Law and Order? Eva, Yola, do you guys know? No. Jay, no idea. I have no idea. He's not Googling, so... <laughs> no, I'm trying. I, I don't know. Zoe, who was the executive producer of Law & Order? Wolf Dick. Was that, his whole, was that his whole name, or <laughs> no. was, was that like... I honestly can tell you that I don't know his first name. Just his last name. Is Wolf Dick. Wolf Dick. Okay. Now you know. Now I know. If you don't know, <laughs> now, you now you know. know player. player. Couldn't dump it. Couldn't Hashtag dump Hashtag couldn't dump it. No, and no, wouldn't dump Dick Cheney if we talked about him no. either. Or Dick Durbin. Or maybe Richard Cranium, but... 
you know. Or Fuddruckers. You can't, you can't, <laughs> you can't Rudd, dump that. Fu- no. <laughs> Uncle Buck, you can't dump that. Uncle Buck? <laughs> no. Which is a terrible new show coming out soon, or if it's already on, or it's been canceled sh- They're already. turning it into a show? Seriously? <clears throat> like the movie? With Mike yeah. Epps. They're doing yeah. the, um, kind of what uh, the Honeymooners did and going with a minority um, cast. That's bizarre to appeal to the new yeah yeah. i mean uncle buck wasn't something to be recreated it was john candy in all of his glory oh of course and just being the sweet lovable big guy and he did great so hollywood come up with some new ideas yeah yeah you're all out so everything's a reboot vomiting on right we're having a third spider-man people nobody's upset about this but me there's a third spider-man coming out really we're rebooting this movie three times already again again Wait, th- honestly? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, a whole they, the, different Peter Parker? A whole they're, different story. I love Marvel. Marvel. And they're adding them to the Avengers. But, because, right. Because Marvel's yeah. going to have the, or Disney's going to have the licensing. To they make. took it away from Sony, so guess what? Spend your hard-earned money and go see. Yeah, that'll make a third one in what? In the past uh, 15, eight, what, right? 16 years there, uh, Tim? Is that right? Yeah, I think Since so. 2000, it's Tobey Maguire, so. Yeah. And I, you know, those movies, the Tobey Maguire ones weren't that awful i mean well they weren't i mean except the third one i mean the third one was yeah the third one yeah so what we're trying to tell you you know our listeners don't go watch those movies (laughs) go see these young ladies art that's right and talk to them that's what you should be that's That's more you'll be more enlightened after that. support local artistry always always support your local artists go out and support local artists by you know musicians or absolutely painters anybody if you know somebody money Give them <laughs> support. <laughs> Give them handfuls of money. Yeah. Spread so, the word. Come on, social they media. They can't age. do their job unless you're paying them. This That's is right. what Facebook on, and Twitter are for. And you can proudly say I had an early edition print from this young lady mm. that I will be able to, you know, frame. Or if you're in a bind cell, if you want to help out, you know, Miss Jeff and everything with her boat. And <laughs> get, you know, <laughs> be like, here, here, Jeff, here's some money. You know, get that boat. Get out of here. All right, Jay. Get that boat and some water, and Thank buddy. you guys for having us. Yes, that thank awesome. you. Thank, thank you. you guys for coming out. Jay, do you got any plugs, anything? Um, no, I, I appreciate you guys having me on. This was a lot of fun. You're welcome back I, anytime. I appreciate that. It's, I didn't realize how much I missed this forum and I missed this business, what I want to do. I've I understand this would probably be like prime work hours for you, though. No, actually, no. I, my, I can definitely revolve my work schedule if you guys will have me back. And my corny jokes. You know what? Just a little input. I would love to come back. More corny jokes. I I, I would (laughs) be happy to. So for all my friends out there listening that I, you know, blasted you guys on on Facebook and everything and let you guys know, keep listening. Call in. Uh, We got to have more than one fan than Jeff, I hope, (laughs) in the future. Well, we had those other guys, but, you know. Yeah, they were just, I don't know, they were ripping bongs and, you know, doing keg stands and not even having the, you know, the the guts, the cojones to say something. Just, I'm calling and I'm going to hang up. (laughs) But we've also established that those guys are actually, what, they're they're three or four feet tall and and 300 pounds, right? So the bad spirits that are, I don't want lingering around me, you can go to those guys. Mm. Spook them out. Seriously. (laughs) Because I don't want to. But thank you for having me, though, Tim. No and problem, Zoe, man. You guys were awesome, awesome. ladies. Thank you. So this has been a lot of fun, and I hope to uh, be talking to you guys again in All the right. near future. So for the Zohan, for Big J, for Eva and Yola Pilch, I am Tim Aradichek. This has been the Laugh or Else radio show on 89.3 WNUR-FM. If you want to hear more, go to the Facebook fan page at Laugh or Else radio show or you can use the hashtag LOE Radio on the Twitter, on the YouTube, or the Facebook to find all our material and how to contact the show. That's about it for us. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. Good night. Keep the good side alive. Yes. Peace. <laughs> we shall do this. And we're going to say goodbye with some uh, Leonard Skinner. For Jeff. Aw. Aw, for the horsey. Go to sleep, Jeff. It's past your bedtime. We're out of here.